Donnie Van Curen is back with us with another great question. We're talking about communication style um, and how that really can affect your relationships because, right. you know, we have different ones. Well, and it's it's really the processing style I'm talking about today because I'm seeing a lot of this with couples. Um, and the processing style, you have two types that you see in couples. One is the verbal processor, mm -hmm. and about 70% of women are verbal processors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That mean all of Raising you. Raising my hand. And then 70% of men are internal processors. And so what we find is knowing that and knowing what you are, but then knowing how it affects your spouse, because that's a big part of it. Um, and so I wanted to talk a little bit about how that looks because it does affect conflict. Mm -hmm. When we're frustrated, when we get in fights, a lot of that is coming from our processing style. Yeah. So it, I want to kind of look at that. If you're an external processor, you do process verbally. Okay, mm -hmm. you try to talk things out, maybe even to yourself. Check. No one's in the room and you're talking <laughs> things out. Whatever um, you need to do. That's right. You need verbal interaction and replay. So you kind of want the person with you to have that verbal interaction. And then also you see silence sometimes as neglect or control. Hmm. So if your spouse is silent, you're like, okay, they, they don't want to talk to me or they're holding back. And mm -hmm. you sometimes see that as negative. And can you imagine how that exasperates conflict? Yeah. Yeah, it makes you matter. Exactly. Then internal processing, you go to the other side. Right. And so that's need processing, sometimes 24 to 48 hours to think things through. Then you also feel overwhelmed and attacked when your spouse is talking. <laughs> You yeah. feel flooded, right? You're like, oh man, what do they want? Oh, I wish they would stop. Too much. And then communication <laughs> often feels manipulated and controlled. Hmm. So imagine those two sitting in a room. Because they're good at yeah. communicating. So it's like, Ugh, right, you know, right. it's too What's, much. You know, it's interesting because you said the breakdown is about 70% women internal mm -hmm. and then 70% of men external. So. But I feel like my wife and I are the, almost the opposite. She's yes. more the internal, and then yes. like so. Two days later, I'll say everything I had to say. Right. And right. Two days later, she's like, and then another thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wait a and second. Yeah, you know, that does happen. I have yeah. so, several clients that have switched those roles. Yeah. Here's the key, and I and I want you to do this at home. First of all, how does your style affect your spouse? Think about what style you are, and then ask your spouse and think through. Okay, when I'm internalizing, how is it affecting them? Mm. And then also look back and say, how does their style affect me? Yeah. And if you can just really do that process, you'll see how it's affecting fighting and conflict and arguments. And how do you both encourage the other? Like, how do I give space to the internal? How do I give them space to come back? How does the internal say, I'm going to be back in five minutes? Um, how do I tell my spouse, listen, I'm going to verbally process, so I just need you to listen. Mm. And so if you can work together and not minimize your processing skills, because you're all going to get to the same place at some point, Okay, you're both gonna get the same part, but getting there is different and you're wired different. It's not wrong or right, it's just different. And if you can process that with your spouse, you'll do better at conflict. Hmm. What are some ways that you can sort of see within yourself and like, okay, now I'm sort of examining how I process things. Yeah. Yeah. What are some things you should look for to say, you might be this kind of processor? Well, what irritates me? Yeah. When my spouse is talking, I'm irritated. Or do I need some space and do I find myself getting exasperated and need to come back and do it? Do I talk a lot and then figure out later what I'm trying to talk about. Mm. Those are some things you could ask yourself. Right. All right. Yeah, good question. Donnie, thank you so much. If you have a question for Donnie, send it to askdonnie at news9.net or visit his website, counseling1820.com.